The general objective of the Life Iberlands project was to obtain a number of lynxes and a population that would guarantee the survival of the species and would diminish its threat level. Thanks to the support of the European Union, which has financed 61.57% of the cost through the Life plus Nature and Biodiversity Programme, and the work of all the beneficiary partners led by the Ministry of Environment and Territorial Planning of the Junta de Andalusia as coordinating beneficiary, the Life Iberlands project has been successfully completed. When we started working in 2011, we had a census of about 300 in Andalusia. Once the project was completed, we had reached double the number of what we initially had, almost 600. And that has been thanks to all the experience we had accumulated in Andalusia, which has been exported out to Portugal, Extremadura and Castilla-La Mancha. We selected five reintroduction areas, which are working very well. We have an average of 35 lynxes in the last census given. We have fulfilled the objectives proposed in the LIFE project which were five territorial females per zone as a biological measure of population growth. And we are around five to seven territorial or breeding females in each of the reintroduction areas. And also importantly, there's been an exchange of lynxes between the different areas of presence. So we have at least five lynxes that have been exchanged between Donana and the Guadiana Valley. We have at least one lynx that has traveled between Matachel and Monte de Toledo, which is very important because we had originally thought that Monte de Toledo would be out of the possible connection with the zones of presence. With the biological objectives raised, the result has been very positive. We have some black spots in which we have to work on in the future because in recent years, the number of runovers has increased. We have to continue working on this, and we are already working on conversations with the different bodies responsible for roads in the ministry and the autonomous communities. And we will also continue working on social awareness, which is fundamental. That is to say that the inhabitants of the zones assume the project and the links in itself as an asset proper to their zones. Periodically, within the framework of this LIFE project, Iberland's prizes have been awarded, which recognize the work carried out by different people, organizations, or collectives for the conservation of the Iberian lynx. Ms. Bigonia Garcia Bernal, Councillor of Environment and Rural Agrarian Policies and Territory. The brilliant development of this LIFE project would not have been possible without the cooperation of citizens from very different backgrounds, professions or ideologies. The work of everyone will be necessary to strengthen the results obtained and ensure the population continues to grow, in addition to consolidating the new reintroduction areas, increasing the connection between them and improving wild rabbit populations. In the coming years, we must continue working to promote the creation of biological corridors within the framework of the Natura 2000 network to guarantee genetic exchange between populations. The Life Ibernance Project has been a great step in the conservation of the Iberian lynx, as well as contributing to the promotion of development in the rural world. Numerous companies exercise their activities around the Iberian lynx in a sustainable and responsible manner. In addition, the conservation actions of this feline have generated more than 61,000 jobs in their areas of influence. Among all, we are achieving the conservation of the Iberian lynx with the hope of living with a unique and exclusive feline of the peninsula, preserving this legacy for generations to come.